Welcome back to another vlog. My name is Brenna. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I think I'm going to be vlogging this week. Just a couple clips and taking you guys along. I don't have like a lot of stuff planned. I have work and everything like that. But I just wanted to pop on and make a little vlog. My skin might look a little bit crazy because I just got microneedling done at work. So it's a little bit pink and flushed. But it is... 24 hours post procedure so that's normal i'm going to yoga but i need to wash my makeup brushes because obviously i just got microneedled and i don't want to get a staph infection not saying that that would happen to you but that is something you need to be a little bit extra cautious of post microneedling treatment okay don't mind the banging my dad is redoing the floors downstairs if you hear that but this is how i clean my brushes i do like Oh, that's actually cold. I do just a bowl of water with Dawn dish soap, and I get that wet. I dip the brushes in there first, get it wet, rinse it off. Once it's rinsed and all the soap is out, I will dip it in this one. This is diluted um, alcohol just to help kill some bacteria. I don't dip the whole thing in there because if you get... Uh, glue and this for rule I think it's called that's what we learned in aesthetic school then it will obviously melt the glue and everything and all your brushes like your fibers will fall out so I'm gonna do that really quick and then I'm gonna go to yoga all right i'm sweaty girl and i just finished my class at uh, uh my yoga studio and it was a good one it was a hot one okay i'm gonna go get dinner at the peel actually And maybe get a cocktail. Maybe I'll get a cocktail. It's about balance. But actually, we just got this espresso machine at Peel, and I think we're gonna have espresso martinis because that sounds like a great idea. Let's go. Nice. Cheers. Does anyone else feel weird about um, like making their bed right after they got out of it? Like it's still sleepy in your bed? Because I did. I did not. I did not sleep very good last night. Obviously because I was drinking, but and I didn't get a lot of sleep. I was up kind of late. Like my readiness level is 53, and that is. Really, really sus. Uh, I don't know. I just kind of feel like sometimes, most of the time, I feel like drinking is just like not worth it for me. Um, and I wonder how I would have been feeling if I just had my two cocktails is I had a beer afterwards, an IPA, which I knew I didn't need it, but you know, the vibes were vibing. Uh, so I just did it. And and it's not like I feel bad, but I feel, I feel puffy. I feel almost like congested. So yeah, not loving it, but 
whatever, I guess. My sunscreen is downstairs. I'm not gonna put that on right now. Put my earrings in, and I have work today, so I'm very excited. I'm doing a training over um, a VIP, so that'll be really exciting. And I wonder if I will get to perform one on our girl Portia. She does like social media and everything for Precision, and. I think she's going to be our one because me, Lauren, and Jess were the three estheticians there. Um, we all got um, some form of like microneedling done on what, what day was that? Tuesday. So we will see. I'm just going to finish getting ready really quick because I'm kind of like on a strap for time. So I'll be back. On a walk. This is what we're doing. I tried to do like a little pig flower garden right here and like a bee pollinator and a nectar pollinator and they're looking pretty good so far. I know I probably should have clipped some of the tops of the zinnias, like I think these tops or something, but honestly I'm not super well versed in these and I forgot what I put in them so I'm just going to let them do their thing which is what I've been doing. and. They've pretty much been slaying. I'm super excited for them to fully bloom and stuff. But they honestly popped up super fast, so I'm really proud of them. I don't really know what happened to this one. It seems like it, like, it was super full, but then it all split in the middle, and then this one was a little bit later, because I had, I think it had some later germination periods. Um, and now this one looks super full, so we'll keep an eye on it and see how it goes. But I'm going to come out here and water the garden. It's been pretty hot this week. a nice good drink we've got all these like blackberry bushes i think he picked the ones today because these look pretty bare so that's asparagus right there in the middle i don't know why we let it get so long but we have like two stalks that just always grow which is funny I think because of this willow tree here, our like, garden's not getting that much sun, so it's not... This side's getting a little bit more sun, and these blooms are a little bit bigger, but over here is it's pretty sparse. I'm sure this isn't like the right way to water them, because the roots are down there, like they don't absorb the water through the leaves, but... I always just do this to give the berries a little spray off in case there's like any bugs on there. That's the way that my brain works. And if it's not correct, which I'm pretty sure it probably isn't, don't say anything.
my skin is like flaking around the sides of my face and it's getting in my hair. What's going on with that? Good morning, everyone. I'm getting ready for both my jobs. Today is Saturday, so I usually do precision nine to one and then peel 3.45 to 10. So, it's always fun. It's always so much fun. I don't know exactly what I'm doing today at Precision. I think I'm gonna be watching a new client like filler consultation, which should be cool. And then uh, I would do that with my boss, Jen. Super smart gal. I'm not gonna be bringing my peel clothes to Precision today, so I'm gonna be taking a little bit of a risk, but I should be out of there early, one, like we close out one. I'm not worried about it. And then next week I start my normal shifts, which will be Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. I really, really like this mascara. This is the YSO mascara, and it's the brown one. Lash Flash Mascara. I don't know, I really like it. Okay, I'm gonna get dressed. So I had this orange wine whenever I was in Chicago with my sister and it's been so hot out lately. So I had this orange wine with my sister in Chicago and I have just been craving something a little bit refreshing, light, crisp. Safety first. Sorry. Should always put something to secure your board down so it doesn't slide when you're cutting. Where'd you where'd you learn that from? Uh, culinary school, actually. Casual. Yeah. Anyway, so it's been so hot out, like 97 degrees. It is summertime. So I picked up this wine. It has only been in the refrigerator for about three minutes, but I can't wait and I have some stuff I need to do today, so I'm just gonna drink it. It's a little bit cold to the touch because it's in the AC. Orange wine isn't actually made from oranges. It's made from the skin of the grape that was left on during the fermentation process. So, I read it. Because I thought it was, uh, I thought it was orange wine, oh. you know, but it's not from oranges, it's from the skin. Well, it's like you would think that that would be the case since like plum wine is made with plums, right? Is it? I think so. I could have made that up. Yeah. It sounds convincing, I think. Yeah. Oh, am I supposed to let this like go up? Right. Yeah, I am. I'm not really used to this kind of like wine opener. Put my whole back into it. Oh! Mm -hmm. 
no, I don't think so. I might. So, can we break break while you're opening that bottle? Talk about something else very briefly. Yeah. I was asked again today if I would run the intro to Chiong again at the studio. By who? Uh, I don't know how much you wanted, so I gave myself a little bit more because I'm going upstairs. Okay. All right. We'll take a smaller one. Cheers. I'm not one of those. I, I could use some ice cubes. I think it is not bad at all. I think it would be better cold though. I feel like. A hundred. You drop that back in the refrigerator for right now. This is the one I got. Orange from the basement. Dad. Albino oh. Armani. Is that the white Armani? Albino Armani. I don't know. This says secrets from the basement of Albino Ar Armani. Funky and inspiring wines from old vinification techniques with a modern twist. A long maceration on the skins gives the wine body and notes of mature pear, orange peel, and grapefruit. I think I get the grapefruit. It would be so much better cold. I think so. But you can still breathe this in, breathe it into your the center of your head. Just breathe, bring it, breathe into that area. Why? Now, now breathe it into your middle dantian, right, right around your heart area. Breathe, breathe it to that place. I can't quite. I s that was much more orange that time than it was up in the head. Now, now lower dantian, right, breathe it down into here. What are you getting? I'm getting earthy. What are you getting? I got the pee. Dad. I'm just kidding about that. I don't have to pee. <laughs> I'm gonna kill it with some ice cubes. <laughs> Alright, I have some work to do. No work. Okay, right now I just have some work to do on my computer. I haven't been checking my um, work email from Precision because I have that. No, but actually, who is this? Okay, here we go. Okay. my password okay I think this is it what the great my password's not opening up so perfect well, while I'm figuring this out, I'm going to start burning an incense. Me and my dad just got these ones off Amazon. He really likes this brand. I really like these ones. They're the Kyoto Autumn Leaves smell. Those ones are really good. But we got these ones, and this is no description. Yeah, I've been super into burning them lately. I don't know what it is. I've just felt like a little bit more stressed. So, they just look like this. The whole thing is the incense. So, let's burn it. Okay, but I actually need to work on this and figure out what my password is, so. I shall do this and drink my little wine. I don't know why. It's not working. It smells good, oh my gosh. So, I'm saying, I'm a laser. After that, 